All right, you magnificent bastards. This episode, I'm gonna do something really practical for the gift giving season. The first whiskey I'm gonna pour is a Glen Farkless 12. Ramp up the age statement to a 21. I think we may be on the path to one of the best bang for your buck whiskeys if you're trying to chase an age statement for a really impressive gift. And then to mix it up, I wanted to compare these whiskeys with what is arguably the biggest gateway whiskey for people getting into Speyside, Glenfiddich 12. Let's pour it, see what people think. Hello. Hey. Daniel's back, y'all, it's been hey. a minute. How was your vacation? It's good. Craig. Craig. Thanks for coming. Craig is our newest bartender here at the Fang and Feather. James. Thank you for coming on your day off, my man. It's a very large sacrifice. Well, fortunately, I brought you some free whiskey. You know what? That makes up for it entirely. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It is nice to meet you. It's... Who are you? I... I don't care. Are you ready to drink? Yep. <laughs> now, to give people some context, what is your whiskey experience level? Are you, do you consider yourself like a noob, an enthusiast, an expert? Where are you at? I say an enthusiast. Okay. Um, been in this business for a very long time. Yeah. Have always loved whiskey, have always loved bourbon, but I also love all the spirits. Most definitely a noob. Okay. Yes. All right. I consider myself yeah. a whiskey enthusiast. Okay, not a noob. With a dash of <laughs> noobiness. Just a little razzle dazzle okay. noob. What is your favorite whiskey of the moment? It's funny because since I've been working here, I've been trying incredible whiskeys. And I will say that the Errant is my favorite at the moment. Okay. This is the man angling for a raise. That's our whiskey. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. The moment right now, it's Lagavulin 16. Yeah, we had that with Jeremy. Yes. It was an amazing episode if you haven't seen it. That or it's, the Poor Charlotte. Or the, or the Poor Charlotte 10. Poor Charlotte 10. Come on, you're taking that my favorites. That shit is fucking fire. Uh, I like the peated stuff a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of Andalusia's uh, uh, Super Smoke Striker. All right, so you're tickling the enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? Okay, so I, I have a couple of pours for you. Okay. What? Whiskey? It's ridiculous. Wow. I'm mixing I it up. never would have guessed. I'm mixing it up. The one on your left, that's going to be the one that we're going to start with. Okay. So let's nose it. On the nose, what are you finding? Soft. Yeah. There's a smoothness. Very uh, like malty, kind of funky thing. Mm -hmm. But there's a sweetness to it. Lakey. Mm -hmm. Like a like a lake. Okay. Even a little butter on that. I'm mm -hmm. catching some. Not even any real wood, but it's a smooth. It's a slightly caramel on there. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of Aaron, that sort of like fruity, yeah, yeah, yeah. but island, but body, mm -hmm. right? So not fruity, just pure sweetness. It's like light, kind of florally, but not like super flowers. Mm -hmm. It's more like the leafier kind, okay. like a leafier. Yeah. I'm catching some, I don't want to say residual sugar because that's not correct, but yeah. there's a sweetness, almost a honey to it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Maybe wheat? Wheat, okay. Yeah, yeah. Light, sparkly fruit, almost carbonated. Mm, yeah, uh, there's an effervescence. Yeah. And Maybe just a little, little baby fruit. Like a crisp, fresh apple. Yeah, I can get an apple. Yeah, yeah. And now that you some... say that. Now that you say that, I almost get a little watermelon. Mm. Uh, what other kind of sweetness are you finding? Sweetness. All right. Uh, let's pick up the one on your right. Ooh, okay. It's quite different. Ooh, this has all the body and density that that didn't have. Uh huh. Okay, the right is a little sweeter, mm -hmm. a little more vanilla fruity. I feel like I'm outside a little bit more. I feel like I'm in more of an outdoor um, space. I'm smelling some grass. But otherwise, it's a very similar direction. I might even say they're family members, mm. uh, either region I don't, or distillery. But I will like, tell you they are the same region. Ah, yeah. not the same distillery. Well, hold on. Oh, OK. Because the second thing I will tell you mm. is they are the same distillery. <laughs> <laughs> And there's something that's picking me up at the end of that little sniff. I can't put my nose on it yet. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. It's 
smells kind of car, it smells like carnival. I get a caramel, you know those candied apples with caramel on them? Yes. Yeah, are you finding a brown sugar note? How does it compare to the first one in the AB? This one's definitely sweeter. Some earthiness still in there, mm -hmm. like a, a, a similar lakey, but not super lakey. You wanna know an interesting fact about me? Always. I don't smell that well. Okay, well you're doing very well. Just in general, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, like, yeah. So, so you're I'm definitely fine. finding things in this, yeah. Oh God, more so than in this one. Mm. Way better nose, mm. but that's a good nose. It's not bad. I go get like a like linen, like a yeah. dryer sheet linen. Fresh, like uh, yeah, linen that are named like laundry. Spring Valley, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 that would be the fresh yeah. laundry smell. But this has some heft to it. Well again, the one on the right definitely smells stronger. Mm -hmm. I think I'm getting more of that caramel on the left than I am on the right. Mm -hmm. When I go back to this one, it's more like there's surrounded by forest. It's a lot earthier. Oh, okay. It, so just a lot go, more. At the comparison, there's yeah. less sweetness in this one. It's very fruity, like uh, but like wine cask fruit. Okay, so let's start with the left. Okay. We'll have a taste. All right, you want to taste the one on your left? <laughs> left, yes. That's the, okay. You got it. <laughs> Okay. Mm. On the palate, you just get honey, and then if you spread it around, the grain comes forward. Yeah. It's like a light, sweet, not a sweet tea, mm -hmm. but like a floral tea that has some sweetness in it. Yeah. That's what I'm getting on that. Okay. Gave me some sweetness. Yeah. There's more honey. It's soft. That's a nice, delicate mouth feel. And it's got lakey mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lakey mouth. Hello. Oh my God. I found Waldo. Oh. I have not been able to find him for months. Is this a thing? Yes. James and his brother Josh hide Waldo around the tasting room. All right. Oh my God, I found him. Did you win something? I, no. This episode is sponsored by Trade Coffee. So obviously the holidays are upon us. You're looking for the gift or that hard to buy for friend or family member. Yeah, it's Trade, come on. Trade is a coffee subscription service that makes it super easy for you to explore and get delivered to your door amazing coffees from roasters all over the country. They narrowed it down to the best, they wanna send you the best, but they also wanna send you stuff that you're most likely to love. We're obviously exploring coffees here in the office. Flavors aren't limited to whiskey. I know, blasphemy. We got the airstrip, that was super good. The Atomic, the Black Velvet. The newest one that just came in. I don't even know, I don't even know. We're gonna know, we're gonna find out. Tasting notes of Baker's Cocoa, Nougat, and Brown Sugar. I know what I'm doing this afternoon. So you wanna treat yourself or that coffee lover in your life, you wanna go to drinktrade.com slash whiskey tribe, you're gonna get $30 off your subscription. Also free shipping. Don't forget the free shipping. It's great. Free shipping to your door. Coffee explores. Good. You know what I'm tasting is like that freshly baked honey bread that you get at restaurants sometimes. Oh yeah. You know what it is? What it's is those it? Texas Roadhouse rolls. Dude, that's it. Yes, Texas Red. It's a chain uh, here in uh, in Texas. Uh, you know, there's other places too. Yeah, like in it's other all states, over the country. They, it's all over the yeah. country. Yeah. I uh, I worked there for three and a half years. Okay, so yeah. it's a good reference. For yeah. You. So let's go to the one on your right. Okay. Okay. That's cleansing. how you cleanse the palate. All right, you want to taste the one on the right? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. For me, there's there's almost a little candy feel on the sides, a little citrusy, not a bitter note, but more yeah. body on the way through. That has way more of that honey. It's if you took this and added mid body body to it. This one, you just say, oh, you filled out nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Still soft, yep. still low proof. Yeah. 
but definitely has age at minimum. Yeah. Maybe a different finish, mm -hmm. more wine cask direction. Yeah. Because it adds that sort of plum. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'm almost getting like a, an oaky wood in there. It's also really light and dainty though at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm finding more, uh, still very sweet, but a little bit more density and thickness and a little bit of richness. I get the the, the density. Yeah. yeah, it's heavier. I'm getting like maybe a whole grain cracker. Okay. It's lasting on my palate much longer, mm -hmm. whereas this one slides off easy. This one wants to stay around and get to know me a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, your wife's here. Don't get too carried away. Well, she knows better. <laughs> what if I told you these are actually the same distillery, the same whiskey, the only difference is age. The one on your left? Yeah. The Glen Farkless oh, Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's 12 years. This is going to be a Speyside Scotch, 12 okay. years old. Glen Farkless, this distillery, it's about 186 years old. But the same family, the Grant family, has owned it for you know over 130 years. I have never, until now, yeah. gotten that much sparkly fruit on the nose of Glen Farkless 12. Yeah. Like, I've had that on a plane. Yeah. And thought, I guess I'll settle for Glen, Glen Farkless. But then you drink it and you're like, you know, it's actually, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah. The one on your right, they're both actually from the exact same distillery. Holy shit! The one on your right is Glen Farkless 21. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I think you can tell the difference that yes. that extra age makes. Yes. Oh, yeah. The 21. So, same whiskey. We were talking about it filling out nicely. Yes, it did. It now, did, and then they proofed it down and removed all of the richness from it. Yes. But it's still significantly superior. It is. Glenn Farkless is one of these brands where you can crank up that age statement, and it's gonna be an amazing bang for your buck if you're chasing that number. Wow, would you look at that? Oh, we looked at it. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna pour you. Well, let me just say. Well, I mean. Well, let me you, just you say can here. say it without holding. Well, I gotta, you gotta look at it, though. You gotta look at the, I gotta show the camera. Get, oh, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pour you just a quick alternative whiskey. Oh, good. There you go. All right. <laughs> no, the way already said this. Here, I gotta pour you something in secret. Turn around so you can't see. Okay. Dirt. Oh. Dirt. Yeah. Oh, I see here. Okay. Just, yeah. Can I turn around? Yeah, yeah. With flair? And Zazz and Gusto. Oh, I'm looking for a bottle. <laughs> Go ahead and put your nose in that and let me know what you think. The nose is completely different on mm -hmm. this one. Yeah. It has that same sort of light, sparkly effervescence. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, a basket. The ones that look like a horn. A cornucopia. Cornucopia. Mm -hmm. It smells like a cornucopia. This is going to sound strange. Yeah. It smells like when a rotating fan is about to right, right about to in your face. <laughs> You're right. That is strange. <laughs> yeah. It's that breezy, yeah. like windy. Effervescence, like a like a, air, a gust of air type of quality to it. I feel like I smell smoke, but I don't know if it's actually there. Okay. It's a little more budget. It smells like a blend. Cause you get a little bit of thinness on the front of the nose and then it goes into round malt and it's a little sickly. Do you want to hand it? Yeah, let's, let's hand, hand it. it. Here, just a crisp. <sighs> oh yeah. I get sweet and fruity and gourdy and baskets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Very different. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more fruit in there. There's a, I'm almost getting some pineapple. There's a little honeysickle for me in there. That, uh, that summer sweetness. Yeah. That's different on the taste. Mm -hmm. It's more um, peppery. A little salty on the lips. Okay, the best things are. <laughs> Getting like a steak seasoning note. Oh, okay. Very plain. Mm. Definitely low proof. Mm. Yeah. Definitely a budget blend, but a good one. It's possible it's monkey shoulder, but it's not that. It didn't have the funk. Funk. Yeah, it didn't have the funk. Of the three, what do you like more? The 21 year, mm -hmm. the secret pour, then the 12 year. Okay. I may go with this one. Okay. I would say that because it, it's a, the best of both of these. Yep and a little bit more. Oh, I think I would say this is my least favorite. Least favorite, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I would put the Glen Farkless 12 in the middle mm -hmm. and the expensive one. 12 is my favorite, the 21 is my second, and then the Glen Fittick is my last. Okay. This is the good old, the Glen Fittick 12. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. What, 12. no! I would have bet this was a blend. Yeah, yeah. Just 
everything that I had in my pocket. This whiskey is responsible for getting so many people into the world of scotch. Well, and I think for having just my little experience tasting all of these other wonderful scotches, it holds up to them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's enough like that you could feel good about drinking and go, yeah, I'm having the right experience with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a million years, I never would have knowingly chosen yeah, yeah. Glen Farkless 12 yeah. over Glen Fittich 12, because <laughs> I'm a big fan of Glen Fittich 12 is like, yeah. don't shit on it. It's a great whiskey. Mm -hmm. But AB right now, mm -hmm. I actually like the Glen Farkless a little bit better. It's got a little more pepper to it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh my God, we did it. Tell it. What did you do? I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, my, my world's a little rocked <laughs> with the, the choosing of a Glenn Farkless. Yeah, it's not a giant brand that people are familiar with, it's just a brand that is an amazing bang for your buck when you're chasing those old age statements for as little money as possible. It's a really easy way to buy impressive gifts. Yes. And you're like, hey, father-in-law, I bought you a 21-year-old scotch. Yeah, you can find it for about 150 right now. There you go. Yeah. I checked, because I think the oldest thing they have is the Glenn Farkless 40. Yeah. 40 years old? Yeah. 1,500 bucks. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? You're seeing comparables for three, four, or five grand. Yeah, we poured a $5,000 whiskey for Jeremy. Yeah. I'm going to give you one chance. If you can tell me one dad joke that makes me actually laugh, I'll give you $100. Okay. So. Uh, when Richard went off to Maine uh, sometime last year, he came back and brought me a pair of socks that had moose on them. And fun fact about moose is that they are amongst the most protective species of their young. And so I know that whenever I put those socks on, that I will be okay because they are gonna protect my calves. It was the face! <laughs> that doesn't count, it was the face! You did it, you bastard. <laughs> In the comments, what is the best bang for your buck if you're chasing an age statement? The Glenn Farkless is the best thing that I could think of, but what, what about you, different categories? Not necessarily chasing flavor, but you want to chase the age. What do you like? Also, we were sold out of our coffee. This is our barrel-aged coffee, but it's back in stock. Description down below, bye. Yeah.